Hello everyone, it's been a while since my last video and I'll show you why. I have been incorporating the different orc skins into my Attack on the Multiverse project in Warcraft 3. Now, this is going to be different from my usual videos where I kinda make a preview of the independent quote-unquote skins. Instead, I'm going to be showing you them all around at the same time because uh, a lot of the units don't yet have the so-called alternate skins. So uh, let's begin. So as you can see here, we're starting with the buildings and you can see uh, six distinct quote-unquote skins or factions. So you have the original one, which I dub as the Horde of Kalimdor. And then you have here the Horde of Outland the Iron Horde, the Fell Horde, the Horde of Northern, and the Ebon Horde. So again, uh, if you've been uh, following up on my different videos for this project, the idea is that each skin supposedly comes from a different uh, timeline or alternate universe. So you have the Horde of Outland, kind of like a continuation of the Horde of Draenor from the expansion in Warcraft 2, but it doesn't fall apart and instead kind of uh, remains intact. You have a different version of the Iron Horde. For the Fell Horde, the idea here is that it's kind of like a continuation of the uh, what do you call this? Warsong clan under Grom Hellscream uh, when he was transformed into a fell orc. The idea is that uh, he kinda wins against Troll and that's why uh, the fell versions here include the Tauren and the Trolls. For the Horde of Northland, the idea is that the Frost Wolves, instead of living in exile in the Altarak Mountains, they manage to sneak all the way up to Northland, forming their own horde there. And finally, we have the Ebon Horde. Again, kind of like a Death Knight version of the entire Horde race. Anyways, uh, uh, before I forget, there's actually another Horde, uh, if you recall, but it's more of a human skin, the Holy Horde. Uh, as for those who are have been watching my preview videos already, you've probably seen them. So they're not included here because they're more of a human skin. So we have here the Great Halls and then we have the uh, Strongholds and then we have the Fortresses and then we have the Altars. The, uh, Orc Barracks, the Forges, or a War Mill. Actually, the models I've used are the uh, beta version of the Orc Forge back when the Lumber Mill and Forges were separate. And then you have the uh, Tauren Totems. For the Ogres, you have the Mounds and kind of like the Mountain Citadel for the Iron Horde Ogres. You have here the Spirit Lodges, Beast Trees, Burrows, Watchtowers, you have the Voodoo Lounges, for the Iron Horde we instead have, oh, I'm gonna rename this as the uh, Goblin Merchant. Now for, uh, if you notice, all of the buildings are more or less completed. It's the units that I am, that I have yet to complete. So it's also why uh, it's been a while since my last video. So for example, you have here the units lined up. So more or less I'm gonna skim through each one of them. So you have here, again, the peons. For the Iron Horde, we have Magar versions. Now, uh, the Magar skins are actually the ones created by another Hive Workshop uh, user named Freaky. So I've used his uh, 
Magar Skins in conjunction with my Black Rock uh, Orcs. So again, you have the original Horde Races. Then you have the uh, Horde of Outland versions. Or basically kind of like a continuation of the Old Horde. And then you have the Iron Horde. Basically kind of like a Magar version of your Horde of Outland Orcs. Then you have the Fell Orcs. Then you have the Frostwolf Orcs as part of the uh, Horde of Northern. Unfortunately, I don't have a Death Knight Peon yet. So again, you have the Death Knight version. For the Grunts, I'm complete as well as for the Raiders. For the Tauren, again, uh, you have a sort of a Death Knight version for the Ebon Horde. You have a Taonka version for the Horde of Northrend. For the uh, Horde of Outland, you have the one-headed type. So for uh, for those who for those who you who are familiar with the uh, melee creeps, uh, the ogres are two-headed. So might as well use the one-headed for the Horde of Outland. However, if you notice, the different one-headed orcs are different between the uh, Horde of Outland and Iron Horde. So for the Horde of Outland, we have the one uh, cyclo Cyclops type. And for the uh, Iron Horde, we have the two-eyed type. Okay, so unfortunately, I don't have uh, different versions of the Headhunter yet, as well as the demolishers. Codobists are also... Uh, I haven't really made a uh, Codobist clones yet. But for the Windrider, you can see different versions. So you have the, you know, the, one, uh, the original one riding your Wyvern. The Horde of Outland version uh, riding a Nether Dragon. The Iron Horde version, uh, again, using Freaky Smogar uh, orc skin riding a Rylak. Then you have the Fell Orc version and finally a Death Knight version. I don't have a Frostwolf version yet. Again, for the uh, bat ride, uh, Troll Bat Riders, it's much more simpler. You have the original Jungle Troll one. For the Horde of Outland, you have a Forest Troll. For the uh, Trolls of the Fell Horde, it's meant to be uh, fell trolls since the dark tro uh, dark forest trolls aren't really that much used so I might as well use them as the fell troll uh, texture and then you have a an, as an ice troll version and then finally again another death knight version over here for the ebon horde again I don't have uh, equivalent for the witch doctor yet as well as the shaman for the spirit walkers, again, replaced by Ogre for the Horde of Outland. Uh, not yet sure how to implement uh, one for the Iron Horde. But for the rest of the Tower and Skins, I have a Fell version here. Uh, another Taunka version, and finally another Death Knight version. Okay, and then for the Berserker version of the Headhunters, again, I have more or less uh, the other troll types. So in order to separate, uh, distinguish them from the creeps, I just decided that they will all use uh, spears. So you have the original jungle troll berserker, you have the forest troll, again the foul troll, and then the ice troll. No death knight version yet. Okay, and then finally for the heroes, I only have two to do. So for the Bait Masters, we have the original one. The Horde of Outland version. Iron Horde. Fell Horde. No uh, Frost Wolf or Horde of Norton yet. And then you have the... Uh, what do you call this again? The Death Knight version. For the Farseer, again, we have more or less different skins. 
except for the one for the Horde of Outland. So kind of like a mounted version of the Stormweaver Warlocks. Uh, uh, this is more or less a callback to the model or sprite of Gul'dan back in Warcraft 2. So for those of you who are aware, uh, in Warcraft 2, Gul'dan's sprite basically has him riding a horse, kind of like a Death Knight. For the Iron Horde version, we have the Magar skin of Riki again. And then we have a Fel Horde version, a Frost Wolf version, and finally an Undead version over here. Again, for the Tauren, you have Ogre counterparts for some of them. You have the one eyed version, and you also have the, well, formerly two eyed version, because again, uh, the in game skin of your uh, two eyed ogre actually has one missing eye. And then we have here the fell version of your Tauren chieftain, a Taonka version, and then finally again, a Death Knight version. And then finally, for your trolls again, you have. The different troll types. You have the forest trolls, fell trolls, ice trolls, and again, you have the death knight version. So yeah, so I'll be doing a lot of these. In fact, uh, actually, I'm also going to be doing still a lot about the other human units because I haven't. Uh, I also haven't completed the uh, human quote-unquote skins yet, so I'm going to be doing them in conjunction with each other, so at least at, for now, you get to more or less enjoy uh, the... Uh, more or less you get to enjoy uh, not yet complete versions of the different park skins. So again, I hope you stand by for further updates and I guess that's it for now.